This screencast is going to review the difference between two used as an infinitive and two used as a preposition in preparation for the quiz that you're going to be taking tomorrow. I want to remind you that this is one of the last quizzes that you're going to have for this quarter. We only have two and a half weeks left, so every little thing matters. So you really need to make sure that if you have missed any points at any time on infinitives and prepositional phrases that you really focus on what we're talking about now and, and really think about it when you're doing this. So an infinitive is to plus a verb. We think of a verb as something that's a state of being or showing an action. So we're really thinking after to, we look at the next word in the phrase and we ask, is it something that you can do? And nine times out of ten, that's going to help us recognize if it's a verb. If it's a prepositional phrase, we have to follow this formula. We would see to with a modifier after it and a noun at the end, and there would be not be allowed to be a verb in there. So on this page, I put this, these directions at the top of your page, but you can go ahead and cross them out because we're really not focused on helping verbs, and none of the verbs that you're going to find on this page are going to be linking verbs. So I do want you to go through and highlight the prepositional phrase, put your brackets around your infinitives, find the subject, Label the verb. I'm going to do one example with you and you'll see um, that there's a little something new we're going to introduce here. All right, looking at your first sentence, the players went to the gym to play a night game. First, we look for anywhere. We're really focused on two right now, but we look for any preposition. I see two here. When I see the word two, I have to stop and think, is it an infinitive or a preposition? I'm going to look at the word immediately following it, the, and you can't the, so I know that to the gym must be a prepositional phrase. When I see to over here, I look at the word that immediately follows it, play, and I ask myself, can you play? Is that an action? So it's an infinitive. So we're going to highlight the prepositional phrase, put brackets around the infinitive. Now looking at what's left, I want to ask what's the subject? The players. What did the players do? The players went. Went is an action verb. So now I ask myself, the players went whom or what? Really, the only thing I have left here that could be the direct object is over here, a night game. And if I said the players went whom or what, the players went game, that doesn't really make sense. So for this action verb, the main verb of our sentence, we don't have a direct object. Now, thinking about infinitives, infinitives are verbs as well and verbs can be action or linking. If I look at the infinitive, to play, to play is an action verb, and an infinitive is allowed to have its own direct object. To play whom or what? To play a game. So in this case, game is the direct object, but it goes with this infinitive verb. So I did it in a different color, and I drew an arrow to show what its direct object is. All of the sentences in here, um, most of them are going to have infinitive um, direct objects that go with the infinitive. So just take a try at that as you go. After you finish 1 through 10 um, on the task list that I've assigned for you today, you'll see there's a key. I do not want you looking at the key until after you've completed 1 through 10. I want you to get a different colored writing utensil out and check 1 through 10. And you're really just checking to see if you have these marked correct. So if I were to say maybe put brackets around this one, then I might I would miss one. You're only going to be grading um, the prepositional phrases and the infinitive, and I will show you how to mark that on the key. When you are done, put your score at the top of your paper and turn it into the sub, making sure that your name is turned on, uh, name is written at the top. Um, I'm going to give a little reminder because my afternoon classes are going to have a sub. If um, the sub leaves your name and she or he could leave your name because you are not completing your work the way you're supposed to or you are being disruptive to your neighbor, all of the directions that you really need are here on this screencast. If you need a pencil or a pen or a highlighter, it does not involve your neighbor. You can just go pick one up off of the uh, one of the, the bins on the table. You don't need to interrupt anybody to, do, um, to get your work done. When you are done with task one, once you've done this paper, you've checked it, you've turned it in, then you can go on to task number two that is on your task list.